Story 1. Untreated social anxiety and depression for most of my life, from 15 to 28. I've missed out on a lot in life and put myself into bad situations because of it. Story 2. I'm not that old, 30, but I regret being so serious and working so hard sometimes. I started working over 50 hours a week the second I turned 18 to pay for college. I worked full-time in college. I graduated debt-free and went on to work over 50 hours a week at a large corporation. I think back and, although I'm proud of myself and my accomplishments, I wonder if it really would have mattered if I had just gone to that house party, attended that pub crawl, or gone on that road trip. I feel like I missed something important. I feel like I was never young. Once my kids are older and don't need constant care, I'm taking my life back and I'm going to travel and experience some things again. I owe it to myself. It's better late than never. Story three, easy answer for me. I am 37 years old and my biggest regret is letting myself get overweight. I have been overweight all my life. I have been working out five days a week for almost two years now and have not lost a pound because of my bad eating habits. This struggle has made me miserable. I am amazed at how addicted I am to failing myself. I cannot stick to even the easiest diets to save my life, and I do not know why. It is very frustrating and embarrassing to be so lacking in discipline. Story 4. Not pushing my ex to get treatment for his traumatic brain injury and post-traumatic stress disorder while we were still married. This changed his life. He's much healthier and happier now. To be fair, he has said that he never would have sought care while we were still married. Our divorce was what motivated him to get help. But I still ask myself if there was something that I could have done to get him help and save our marriage. Story 5. My biggest regret is not taking more risks when I had the chance. There were opportunities one let slip by because I was too afraid of failing or worried about what others might think. Looking back, I realized that those experiences could have led to some incredible growth but I've learned to embrace new challenges now. Story six, I met two French girls at a hostel, asked them for a cigarette, and they said, would you like two for tonight? I was like, oh no, thank you. One cigarette is enough. They kept staring at me for a few seconds before saying good night. I was so slow, and my biggest fear is that it may happen again. Story seven, living for other people. I am finally at a point in my life where I can, at least to some degree, do what I want. I have lived for other people's desires for so long that I honestly don't know what that is. Story 8. 22 years ago, I injured a disc in my lower back by lifting something poorly that I should have asked for help with. It has impacted every aspect of my life ever since. This is my biggest regret by far. Story 9. Today, I regret not responding to a silly text from my ex, whom I've known for over 30 years because I'm stubborn and I expected a phone call was warranted after a minor disagreement. I saw his obituary online today. He died last month. Words can't describe my feelings. I've read that people who don't have regrets haven't truly lived. Sounds like horse shit today. Story 10. Experimenting with drugs as early as 12 and having the addict in me instantly take over. Wasted my teens and early adulthood caught in the cycle of addiction and feel like I'm just now getting my feet on the ground in life at 30 years old. Story 11. Not spending more time with my grandparents. I'm very fortunate that some of them are still around, but I'm now acutely aware that there's not too much time left. I'm still young, so I guess it doesn't mean much for me, but I can honestly say that it's the one thing I've done that I cannot forgive myself for. I had time to call or visit my grandparents, but I didn't. From 14 to 24, I had time for Reddit, Instagram, and video games, but I couldn't be bothered to pick up the phone. I was foolish, and I just didn't feel much urgency. They were all pretty healthy for their age, so I naively felt like they'd always be there. How wrong I was. Please call your grandparents. Story 12. That when I was a 21-year-old man, I didn't have the courage to tell my best friend forever who was a 19-year-old man, that I was in love with him. I'm pretty sure he felt the same, but he died 10 years later, so I'll never know. Story 13, having a kid. He is great, and I love him, but I'm not suited for parenting. I'm too mentally exhausted. Trying to take care of him uses up whatever energy I have, and I've given up on everything else in my life. I don't have much support, 
not really any family or friends, and he has some developmental delays that do not make things any easier. I'm pretty sure I have brain damage from the sleep deprivation in the first couple of years, and the rest of my body is basically broken too. I practically never leave the house anymore, and I hate everything I am and everything I'm not. Story 14. I regret the little rationalizations that I didn't need to go out and socialize. That I could work terrible shifts for so long as a single person. I regret not valuing myself enough while I was young enough. Story 15. Stop going to college three years in after I had paid my way through debt-free that far because my living situation changed and I couldn't afford it. I figured it was either take a break from college or end up homeless. I ended up homeless anyway, and though I've gotten out of that, I've worked dead-end jobs I don't enjoy going nowhere in life. Never found myself in a financial position where I could go back and finish college, either. It's too late now. Universities don't recognize credits that old with no degree. If I had just pushed through and finished college while homeless, life would be very different right now. Story 16. I'm 32 and have a master's, which I completed last year from a prestigious program, but I'm unemployed and don't have many opportunities left to actually get into the field since it's in international affairs. Every time I've tried to get into government, I get rejected. There aren't many opportunities in the private sector where I am geographically. This has been the case for a year and a half now. I don't have much experience and no second language. I also lack many contacts, and my networking abilities are poor. My girlfriend is also about to either break up with me or is ghosting me to end our relationship. I don't have much experience in that field either, and the little experience I do have is the source of a crippling amount of trauma. Any regrets? I would do the whole thing over if I could. But I kind of know it would go the same way anyway. Things never change, my friend. Story 17. I regret not being a better boyfriend to the love of my life. We're falling apart now. She's the best thing that ever happened to me. And she just hurt me deeper than anything else ever has. Story 18. Breaking up with the love of my life without realizing and telling her how much I loved her. I was at a weird place in my doctor of philosophy, and I let that get the better of me. If I could, I would do anything to change that or get another opportunity with her. Story 19. I quit taking my attention deficit slash hyperactivity disorder medication in high school. I thought I was that straight-A chess club on weekend student on my own. Turns out that unmedicated me just wants to sit around all day every day and no one stopped me. Very long story short, I dropped out of high school in my senior year and have never had the financial stability to get them again. I desperately miss being able to focus, to finish something I started, to feel the satisfaction from doing anything. Story 20. Not realizing that finding someone after 30 as the gender with a clock is a royal cluster of problems. Even more so if you don't fit stereotypical norms. Guys have never chased after me, and most of my attempts also end in rejection, so I'm painfully accepting that my bloodline will end with me. I'm an only child, so yes. Story 21. Not doing anything right out of high school to further my education or knowledge. I had it in my head I was not capable of it, so I just focused on finding a job. Story 22. My biggest regret is the person I married. I had a great childhood and time in education. I was the most popular guy at school, got the highest grades, was athletic and captain in our school teams. I got along with everyone and just sailed through all the way to my university degree. I got a great job at one of the best companies in the world. I always had lots of attention from girls and then women as I matured. I had lots of close friends from primary school all the way through to work. I had fun and fulfilling hobbies. I'm really good at picking up skills and enjoy do-it-yourself activities. I bought a lovely home at a young age and have a wonderful child who is healthy, fun, and super bright. But the one thing I completely messed up was picking the wrong person to marry. I picked someone purely on looks when I had awesome women interested in me who were smart, capable, and also beautiful. I just thought my life was so rich with good friends, family, and colleagues that it would be fine. It wasn't, and I was miserable for 10 years. I divorced her three years ago and am only able to rebuild because I have a really great career. Now I can be an awesome dad half the time, keep on with a great career, and also enjoy spending time with friends, family, and new relationships. Literally, 
The only thing I have ever done wrong was marrying the wrong person, and it wasted 10 years of my life. At least I have an amazing kid out of it. Story 23. My biggest regret in life was not coming out of my shell in my younger years and choosing to miss out on opportunities because of it, like school trips and proms. Now that I'm a social person, I would have loved to have those memories but can't ever get the chance back. Story 24. I would say not taking a large amount of money I had years ago and being smarter with it instead of what I did. Nothing much else I regret. Even then, it's hard to regret that because every experience brought me to be who I am today. I'm a great person, and I love it. Took me a lot of therapy to make it here, but here I am. Story 25. Not doing more to get my brother into treatment or finding a way to influence his decision to seek treatment. I think he still would be here with us if he had wanted to deal with his addiction and root causes. Story 26. Reporting two of my former bosses for sexual harassment towards the females on staff and for an overall toxic and dangerous work environment. Nothing ever came of it, and they made it their life mission to ruin my life. I had to quit the job because they sent a supervisor to tell me if I kept talking about them, bad things would happen to me. They have paid people off to make up stories about me. They are trying to paint me as a crazy person so they can undermine my word. They are the true definition of psychopaths. Nobody believes me because they have unlimited power and money. My life has been ruined by two evil people. Story 27. My biggest regret is that I was born a Jehovah's Witness and spent most of my life in the cult. Because of that, I didn't get to go to college or university in my youth. In my 30s, I took some college courses online during the pandemic and became an atheist. Story 28. Thinking deeply, cutting myself. A lot of people think it's for attention, but it's not. At least not for me. I was going through horrible things, and the second I did it, I felt relief. Then it turned into an addiction. I do it every day like a routine. But now I'm left with scars all over my thighs and arms over 10 years later. I used to hide it, and I still absolutely do, but it's a lot of work and very annoying, especially in hotter months. I also hate that I ruin my body, and it's a constant reminder. Don't say they're battle scars or beautiful. There is nothing beautiful about mutilating your body because of trauma other people cause to you. I can't stand when people say that, but it did help me survive. I even saw a clothing store use a girl with self-harm scars, and it's like I don't look at that as, oh, I look like her. I can wear their clothes because my scars don't impact my clothing. It's a cheap way to get the inclusivity badge all brands are doing. I went off on a tangent. It hurts to see. It's a constant reminder, and a tattoo would just draw more attention, and I don't want that many or ones that big or invisible places. Just gotta live with it. I forget about them when I'm not in public. I would normally say my biggest regret is letting social anxiety take over my life. Story 29. I am 43. I had a lot of fun when I was younger, traveled a lot, and enjoyed life. But I played a lot of video games as well. Like 30 plus hours of World of Warcraft a week until I kicked that habit. I wish I had spent that time playing guitar or something else constructive. Story 30. I am in my 30s. I regret every single time I tried to get outside my box, be normal and sociable. I have more positive memories being in my room playing games all day than I do with any real life experiences. Story 31. I regret getting a doctor of philosophy. I don't regret getting my master's, but now I'm like 10 years out of any real workforce, realizing academic employment is not going to be for me, and looking at transitioning into some other field like technology at most likely the entry level. Story 32. I am a 30-year-old female. I regret not focusing on obtaining a better education in more in-demand fields and starting to work as soon as possible in my 20s. I am unemployed now, not because I have good degrees and am just unlucky to get a job. It is because I have degrees in fields that are not very in-demand, so I do not even bother to look for a job, knowing that people with better degrees from better colleges struggle to get jobs. Story 33. When I started out looking for work, I pursued an office job at an oil depot. I received a call back saying I couldn't have the position, but I could work at a petrol station if I wanted. I hesitated before saying no, thanks, thinking I could do better. 
I've had part-time and temporary work, but never a permanent full-time job. And I've always thought if I could go back in time, I would tell my younger self to take the job. Story 34. I wish I had worked a few years before actually going to college. I felt a lot of pressure from my family to have everything figured out right after high school. Honestly, it seemed like the only way I could free myself from them. But I wish I had gotten a job and really thought about what degree I wanted before going in and scrambling to get out of there as soon as possible. It was all on scholarship, but it felt like such a waste. Story 35. Not getting mental health treatment for my deployments, I bottled up a lot, and it really ruined relationships for me. I'm in a better headspace now, thankfully. Story 36. Going to graduate school changed my life completely. I went from being in a city I loved, working in my career field, loving what I did, being in great physical shape and health, having close friendships and really just loving life, to struggling with destructive behaviors, being on the verge of bankruptcy, and facing hospitalization for a mental health crisis. I dropped out and spent 10 years in survival mode, bouncing around various jobs, feeling completely lost with no sense of purpose. At the beginning of this year, I began working through post-traumatic stress disorder treatment. I'm a completely different person now from what I was, and I feel like I'm constantly grieving that life I had before I moved for graduate school. There were some good things that resulted from that decision. I'm married now, my spouse introduced me to many interesting things, which led to some extremely close connections with others. I'm successful in my current field, have a lot more financial maturity than I did, and this year I'm really improving positively with the help of my therapist. I don't feel 100% yet, but I've made a ton of progress. Honestly, I'm still looking for something that gives me the same zest for life I had, but I'm comfortable and stable. Regrets are normal, but it's rarely too late to make a change.